Alabama Governor Kay Ivey is extending the statewide mask mandate until November 8th in the fight against the coronavirus. Masks are still required out in public and in schools. The big change made today, nursing homes and hospitals are allowed to have one caregiver or visitor inside at a time unless there are compelling reasons to limit access. NBC 15's Rachel, Rachel Wilkerson joins us now. Rachel, there are strict guidelines still in place, right? There are visitation at nursing homes will be stopped in counties where positivity rates reach 10% or if there's a positive case in the facility. So for this to work, it's going to be dependent upon individuals doing their part. Reopening indoor visitation to nursing homes doing? has been a goal of the Alabama Nursing Home Association since long term care facilities were shut down in March. John Matson says it's been a difficult six months for residents. With loosened restrictions, he says it's important to monitor who is coming to keep cases under control. This is a good thing. It's by no means going back to normal, but it's a good step in the right direction for us. Data shows right now Mobile County has a 5% positive COVID-19 rate, Baldwin County at 7.9%. If it reaches 10, no one can visit those nursing homes. Nursing homes must not have new cases of COVID-19 for 14 days. And if one staff member or one resident tests positive, the clock starts over. The nursing home also has to limit number of visitors they can accommodate. Only one visitor per resident is allowed at a time. If you're going to visit your loved one in a nursing home, the first thing you've got to do is call and schedule an appointment. You're going to need to wear a mask. You've got to socially distance. You've got to use hand sanitizer throughout your visit. All of those type of things you will have to do. As far as hospitals go, one caretaker or visitor is also allowed. Something Elisa Hart says is extremely important. Her cousin Melita White passed away July 2nd. Her friends and family unable to hug and say goodbye. You know, the only thing that we could do was um, stand outside of the hospital room. So her kids, her grandkids, her husband, every day nonstop would be there till it was dark because they couldn't see her anymore. But, you know, it, it just wasn't, you know, it just wasn't the same. Once again, for nursing home visits, you must call the facility first. Tonight at 6, we'll tell you why local hospital officials were pushing for the mask mandate extension. Kim?